Thomas. Nice connecting with you. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. And how are you doing? I'm, I'm amazing. I just left the gym, feeling good. Yeah. Tell us something about uh, your fascinating journey from you know meat eater to becoming a vegan guy. Well, let me say this: when I when I first started trying vegan food, like I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, it was just not that was not what I was looking for. I wasn't ready for it. And then maybe about four years ago, uh, one of my friends, uh, we were working in a music studio and he normally got lunch every day from a different place. And I was in the studio with him this day and what he ordered, I, it was some vegan stuff and I had no idea what it was. And he was just like, try it, it's good. So uh, he ended up ordering me the same thing that he ordered. And uh, it was actually really amazing. I think it was, I think it was some kind of tuna wrap, but it wasn't tuna. It was probably like a chickpea or something like that. And um, once I realized that the vegan food, the, the healthier food can taste just as good as anything else, I was like, oh, well, we can do this. So it was, it was, it was a weird journey, but it was just right, right to the point. There wasn't too much back and forth with it. It was just, I got the information from somebody that I trusted. I knew it. I knew that they knew what they was talking about. So I went with it and it was a great decision. I mean, you're in fitness, you're in content writing and you're a full-time vegan. Yeah. So uh, how do you connect all those things in your lifestyle? Okay. So everything is connected through me wanting to be better right? So better health, better life, better everything. So with the fitness and the vegan and the, the doing the content, everything revolves around trying to be a better version of myself. The connection is just me wanting to be better. So what would you suggest how to take first step? So we, the new person can break their mental block. I, I get a lot of people that, uh, that asked me about how to go vegan because I was so overweight for, you know, over 30 years and it just changed just like that. The one thing, uh, the change was all mental, you know what I mean? But the one thing that I always tell people who want to try to go vegan or want to try it or just thinking about it, like you said, it's hard to just switch and go another direction. The one thing I generally tell people to do is find a meal that you already like. So if you like tacos, go for vegan tacos. I generally advise people to find something that they already like and just find a vegan version of it. There is a, a very funny misconception, uh, Thomas, uh, in the society that uh, vegan food is not good enough. The protein is not, you know, what our body needs. And I always say in that argument very simply that all the biggest animals are vegans. What would you say? There's a lot of things that, uh, that people told me that they were told. It's not anything that they learned or things that they researched. It's just what they were told. So I watched a movie called uh, The Game Changers. One of the things that really resonated with me and with what you just said was uh, there's a saying that says uh, somebody's as strong as an ox. And the rebuttal to that was when, when was the last time you saw an ox eat meat? I said, oh, that's crazy. And then when you start looking at the strongest animals, they may eat a little meat or here and there or whatever, but the majority of it is strictly vegan or, you know, plant-based, plant-based foods. From most of the research that I've done, the plants and the earth or whatever the deal is, they are supplying the protein to the animals to give to us. You know what I mean? Because they have to, they have to eat the grass and the the vegan things. So, you know it's what a, I mean? It's a, it's a simple chain to understand, but people don't understand. Right. Yeah. So what were your raw challenges, like a straight challenges when you became vegan for six months? Like sweets and sugar, you know, cupcakes, cake, uh, all kind of candy. That was, that was terrible for me. But once I found an alternative that worked, I was like, oh, well, I can just substitute this for what I normally eat. And the substitutions became greater and greater until the, the cravings for the, um, for the crazy sugar, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the, uh, the Sundays and the, the, the stuff you buy out the freezer section that you can just stuff your face with those sugar cravings started going away. And it was like, it was fruit. It was, um, 
uh, instead of Cool Whip, it was Coconut Cool Whip. You know what I mean? It was just just little teeny changes. But when I'd go to the store to buy little candy bars, I'd buy vegan versions. You know what I mean? It was just, that was my biggest issue, was the sweets and the candy and the, the sugar. That was my biggest issue. What is your intake? What is your insight that uh, we are what we eat? There is a thing. What would you say on that? So I did used to eat meat and now I'm a vegan. I also used to be 300 pounds. Now I'm 150. I run every single day. I go to the gym every single day. What you said a second ago, you are what you eat. I figured that out. I've, I've been, I've heard that my entire life. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. It didn't make a difference though, because nobody around me was showing me that you are what you eat. It was just something to say that you grew up hearing people say, you know what I mean? At least for my situation. So once I figured out that you are what you eat, and if you put good in, you get good out. If I give my body good things, my body is going to give me good things. Yeah, life is all about continuity, yoga and health foundation. They yep. believe in, you know, how we live. It's, it's a way of life, yogic way of life. Yep. So yoga, meditation, plant-based diet, yep. organic food, you know, yep. and how to take care of our mother earth, mental health. So these are all connected things which we believe. So how do you connect with the Yoga and Health Foundation? When I go to the uh, to the Instagram to the Instagram page, it's a it's a resource pool. It's not just one thing. It's not just not talking about one thing. It's talking about multiple things under the same umbrella. I like the fact that there's uh, people can go there if they need to figure out how to breathe, how to meditate, how to like you said be just oneness with what we have going on and it's a complete lifestyle yeah exactly it, it is a complete lifestyle <laughs> yes and uh, we are connecting with all the passionate people like you because if we have passion towards goodness then our life becomes very useful and meaningful yeah so, wonderful and please share all the social media handles yeah um so my uh my social media is going to be vegan fooder v-e-g-a-n-f-o-o-d-e-r and uh that's pretty much across the board when you come to my page i'm going to authentically be myself and let you know that things are possible oh i don't know what's going on over here my fault hold on <laughs> Uh, and to let you know that things are possible for you. The things that you want to accomplish, whether it's weight loss, eating better, um, getting a job, anything, everything is possible for us here. You know what I mean? Yeah, we just yeah, have absolutely. to connect. And I, if, if you're not doing the right thing for yourself, I don't think the right thing is going to happen for you. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We have to so, take the initiative. Uh, right. Wonderful. Yeah. Thanks for connecting. And you have a good day, Thomas. Take care. Yes, sir. You too. I appreciate you. Bye.